Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of First Impressions here at Marauder. I'm Matt, and today we're going to be checking out the game Decay of Logos. Uh, it supposedly is like Dark Souls meets uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is an ambitious uh, thing to take on. Um, it is one that's been in the news a little bit. I just want to mention, uh, again, I'm obviously going to have my own opinion and things like that, but there was a little bit of uh, a story around this when IGN released a negative review. The developers came back to IGN and... Um, and basically they just said it's Amplify Creations and it's published by Rising Star Games, by the way. And they said, hey, whoops, we actually sent you an old version. IGN retracted their review, replayed it, put out a new one. Still wasn't a great review, by the way. They said it was a little bit buggy. Um, but again, we're going to form our own opinion. But I just wanted to mention that in case you had seen it in the news. Now, one thing I do want to point out, I am playing with a keyboard and mouse because I have no other choice. I have been playing games with my controller all day, Switch to this one doesn't seem to work. They claim in Steam it's gonna have full controller support and I am playing obviously like a review build so that could change by the time it comes out. I don't really love playing these games on keyboard and mouse but I just wanna throw that out there, that's how, that's how I'm doing it. Playing it again on PC uh, from Steam but it's coming out on Switch uh, as well as I believe PS4 and Xbox. So let's go ahead and just start a new game. Now, the point of my first impressions reviews are me opening the box so you don't have to. This one will be $19.99 when it comes out on Friday, August 30th. The Sleep of Reason produces monsters. Caprico 43 Francisco Goya. No idea if I said any of that right. But it's a real person and I botched their name. What are you going to do? Am I applying right now? Nope. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Sorry uh, about the loss of sound there. Just wanted to jump out to make sure you guys had the proper sound and, and such. All right, we're playing. Okay. I jump with that there. Is there a dodge button? Pause actually pauses, interestingly enough. Controls. I'm going to try to plug it in while we're here. I just, not to bog this down with like troubleshooting. I just want to be sure maybe it was a main menu issue. If I click controls now, will you show me my Xbox? Nope. 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 Okay. Well, we tried. Just had to try. Can I have my mouse back? No. Have I ruined you forever? Okay. Yeah, I have. Man, it's buggy. I'm not going to lie. There'll be two strikes against this bad boy. I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna relaunch it. I just want all this here for you, to be perfectly honest. I want this game to be good. That's the thing I want to put on the record here. I'm gonna be really bummed if it's not. And maybe it'll be a game that gets patched to be good. It's too early for me to say it's not good, by the way. I'm not saying it's not good. But it's gonna be hard to tell playing with a keyboard and a mouse, but. Here we go. We're going to kill this enemy for the second time. I do... The original reason we came here was to see where my dodge is. Garden Perry is F. Anyone see dodge? No. There is a jump. A shield ability, which is R. God, that's weird. R, interact, jump. Movement, of course. Use selected item. Walk. Crouch, slide is alt. And alt is sprint. I do not see a dodge button. I said sprint, but shift, I assume. Oh, that's walk. I guess you're you're by default running. We can jump. It also looks a little uh, stuttery in the video department. Everything's on high. My computer can definitely handle high. Resolution. I'll leave it at 1080 because that's what I'm recording in. My computer could go higher than that. Full screen's fine. I'm going to leave it. I mean, we're playing with a 1080 here, so... Hello, Elk. I hear you have something to do with the plot. Art style is obviously a little bit dated, but that's okay. It still has a certain charm to it. It just has like sort of that indie feel. Like this, this. Is some Maybe not PS1, but PS2 stuff. I 
fly like an eagle. Andre Constantino. I won't read you the whole credits. Ricardo Tome. Maybe I will read you the entire credits. All right, Flying Bird. Do I? Well, am I gonna miss important plot points if I skip this? Seems like maybe I will. I won't do that to you guys. Cause who knows where me and this elk are gonna end up? Wouldn't want to miss it. Not for the world. That water <laughs> is interesting. It looks like a plastic sheet. Cool at the bottom though. All right, I'm skipping it. I'm sorry, we don't have all day. Hopefully my elk didn't die. You can find helpful items in abandoned barrels, crates, but sometimes unpleasant surprises. Okay, like a fart? Why is this onion running, by the way? A runion. A canyon in Los Angeles. Okay, I'm on my elk at the latest grove. Oh, can I ride? Come here. Come here, sweet boy. I see a treasure chest. My interact button is E. Playing Fortnite. Ooh, a little kick. Which it seems useless since they, uh, she has to reach out and open it anyway. But we have a hearty brew. So a heal, it would seem. Let's see if I get an unpleasant surprise. I thought you said I could hit you. Okay. Ooh, was that money in the bottom there? No, just part of the barrel. Alright. So I guess I'll go this way. No map. I'd feel better if I could dodge right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Are you my bonfire? Sure seems that way. I also did a review of Blast Mist, a very good 2D action platformer Dark Souls tribute earlier. This looks much like a shrine in Zelda, so that's interesting. That's our bonfire. Fair enough. You're, you had inspiration. Hello, mushroom tree. Can I chop you down? Sure can't. Also, there is no climbing, which seems to be that would be like a pretty prominent element to be taking from Breath of the Wild that we don't have, but those sure do look like the Sheikah Slates and Shrines. Thou should lock eyes on a target. If overcome, the enemy is proving to be an uh, insurmountable task. Dodging incoming blows then becomes simple. So there is dodge. <clears throat> so if you're locked on, you can use space to dodge. <coughs> Timing and focus. Fair enough. Alt to leave. Excuse me? I hit alt. I am hitting alt. It wasn't actually alt. But I was hitting alt. Hello, my friend. What happens if I hit you? Oh, it won't let me. That's fair. I understand why you would run. I would really like the chance to dodge. These are going to be tutorial tomes. Hopefully it's not that hard to walk away from them anymore. E button isn't working, just for the record. I'd like to read it, but we cannot. Had to be standing right there, obviously. Make use of jumping and sprinting to keep thyself from harm. To jump, space. To sprint, hold alt. I'm gonna try again, alt. Hey, it worked that time. All right, alt to sprint. There we go. We fast. Uh, excuse me, that onion is pissed off. Oh, I wanna try my dodge. Lock on. Uh, I'm trying. Okay, so it's just like a sidestep. Out of stamina. That's fine. Testing out the controls here. This is one super pissed off on me. God, that was loud. Alright, how do I use my consumable Q? It is cool you can see that hanging from her belt. That's a nice little touch. No map, so a little confused about where I've been and where I came from. I do want to go up. Oh, God, another one, though? Swing again. That little burrow attack is kind of cool. That thing with its freaky teeth. Look at those teeth on that thing. That's some chompers. I don't love that that enemy came out of the ground out of nowhere, but it happens. All right, where would you like me to be standing when I read you? Not working. 
Not working. There we go. Many a times will the pilgrim be tempted to explore areas off the beaten path by the promise of earthly goods. Thou should be mindful of covetous, covetous thoughts. What I feel like is happening right now is it's telling me not to go into this cave. So I'm obviously going to do it. I'm going to die. And we're going to end up back at that shrine and learn about our respawns. You're going to die. Why did that thing move? And what is that root man on the ground? Seems scary. We sell to kick this chest right open. Pick up fiery sap. What's that going to do? I'm going to find out if I have to fight something. Better believe I'm going to hit Q. What do you do, big face? The atmosphere is pretty cool so far. I am into that. I came from that way, right? Let's go this way then. The spring button's in a weird position to hold down. I wonder if I could swap. I feel like I'd rather... Are those boxes... Are they spawning in late? Is that what's making them look like they're shaking? Or is it? am I supposed to believe that there are enemies in them? Watch how they... Well, it didn't do it that kind of time, but... Rewind the video if you want to see it. Looks like these boxes sort of drop in on me there. Alright, where are we in, in relation to where we went in? Oh, that guy doesn't look good. Maybe we circle back here. And maybe that's a does not open from this side situation here. Give me that lever. Can I jump to it? Oh, no, you said he. I was hoping you had to jump to grab it. Open the shortcut. Now, I also want to go high and low on the path we just saw there. Maybe this will inspire me. Remnant has the ability to play with the keyboard and mouse, which would make a little more sense for that. It's a controller-based game. Also notice my sword logo there. It appears as if it's like only filled up a certain amount. Like perhaps that's just the way the logo always looks. But it looks like it's like almost filled. I wonder if that's like my level. Like while I level up. <coughs> but again, that could just be a design choice. Alright, I'm going to try going high. I wonder which way it was calling the covetous path. I thought for sure it was going to teach me a lesson and have something just come out and stomp me. Nice tree. Uh... Maybe this is a covetous path, sir. Oh, God. Eat shit. Oh, fuck. What's my dodge action? Or, or shield? I don't have a shield. Pick up face of bark. Not sure what that does. I imagine fire sap would be good against those enemies. Hello. Hello. Thou should remember to always watch your step, lest thy pilgrimage be cut short. Somewhere is a trap or something that will make me fall. Alt, alt, thank you. I guess there I would fall off and die. That seems fair enough. Are you alive or dead? I can't lock on. I don't know if this is forward or backwards compared to where I was, but my health is low. Uh, excuse me, not you. I don't know if I have what it takes to beat you right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get killed by an onion. Could you imagine that in your obituary? What do you lose when you die? Let's find out together. I just didn't want to make you guys watch me run back. Normal weapons break irreversibly if their durability is expired. Unique weapons will simply become blunt and can be fixed. You didn't have to take weapon durability from Zelda. The worst trait and mechanic in all of Breath of the Wild, and you put it in your game? Come on now. I just sprayed water all over my own face right when she woke up, and it scared the shit out of me. All right. I can get used to this keyboard and mouse stuff. Do I want to go high or low? I'm also curious. They warned me that enemies would respawn. I'm not fighting you. Again. I refuse. I don't know how experience works yet. Perhaps that's something we'll learn. Also, are those enemies leashing? Nope. They sure aren't. They are following me. There are the boxes dropping in. Hope you saw it. 
Welcome to my grand tour of State of Decay. God, those onions aren't quitting. <laughs> I assume I could be up there or I could go down here. I want to be up high. Take the high road. Hello, elk. Could you take care of those onions for me, bruh? Does the elk fight? You are fucking relentless. Eat it. They're they're crunchy to hit though. So I like that. It's got a little umph. Alright. We're dropping a few frames here, at least on my end. Hopefully that is uh, translating a little bit better to you on yours. But again, uh, it's not even on top performance, and my PC should have no problem running a game. So it's probably just not perfectly optimized. But that's something that can easily be patched out. Again, this game is technically not even out yet. Oh, weird. They relocate him, so he's not in a position that, in which you'd have to fight him. That's awful nice. Didn't an onion pop up here and piss me off a second ago? Yeah, I died to him, like, right here, right? Hello, onion. I wish the dodge was, like, a little bit more emphatic. Like, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a huge dodge step you take, so... But, you know, iframes probably aren't really what they're interested in. Do you have more tips? This is a big-ass tutorial area. You should avoid battling multiple foes simultaneously. What do I always try to tell you all? Because you could easily get overwhelmed. Ranged weapons can be used to lure a single target at a time. Why well, don't I have a ranged weapon yet? <coughs> trying to tell me to come back when I do? Have I always had this mask on? Oh, it's because cause dude died. I'm going to fight you first. Don't! I knew you'd hit me real hard. I could sense it in my bones. My stamina is not what it should be. Oh, shit. No! I couldn't dodge. Got stuck on a rock. The Magic A Twine Trudeau can be used to blast through some blocked doors. Okay. I'm not sure which path we want to take now, though. We've seen a high path and a low path. I think maybe we go for the high path. <coughs> oh, shit. Did I just go the wrong way? Maybe we go low. Let's try the low path on this one. Although I wasn't necessarily... I got a message about trying to lure enemies out with a ranged weapon and I didn't really need to do that yet on the upper tier but but maybe you know I'm just kind of wondering if the lower path will give us what we would need in order to do that I'm not sure what the shit's about there all right here's another tree boy how close to I can lock on what in the fuck Dude, the bugs. There's so many bugs. Are you okay? Also, am I not just at the same level at this point? Can I hit you or are you invincible? I'm not sure he knows what's happening. He was a little weaker than his brethren. Okay, so this one has the shield, but we know we can break through it eventually. There it is. Yep, I deserved it. I feel like it's better to just back up and then swing at him as hard as you can. Lullaberries, give them to your companion to comfort it. Well, why do I care if my companion is comforted? 
Also, do I have an inventory? Let's see. Options. Controls. Cycle uh, items. Number two. Why wouldn't it be? Back. Resume. Two. 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 All right. Well, I guess I only have one item. And no heals. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was over there. Okay. So this is the way forward, I guess. If we're just trying to exclusively make sure we see new spaces, which is my current goal, or to find another Zelda shrine. What is happening right here? What are you? Bees? Oh, seashells. I thought I heard bees, and it was like a beehive. Picked up some lola berries. I can give more to my companion. Not sure, again, what that will do. And this is the Arbor Sanctum. Seems cool. Is there anything around this corner? And can I climb? Two important questions. What up? Do we have uh, an elevator? Alright, I'm just going to climb this ladder because I don't know what's happening. I lifted that box though. Hopefully this cannot collapse, which it feels like it could. I very much wish I had a heal. What in the world? I forgot I can jump. Are we going to have to start platforming? I can get behind that. Again, probably not something I prefer to do with a keyboard and mouse, but I can do it. And I'll stop my belly aching eventually. Alright, there's a door. But I don't think I should jump down. I like that there's been a good balance, though, I will say, of exploration. Something in a box. Do we have a Laurentius uh, tribute? Oh, we got a hearty brew. I'm not going to drink it yet, because I think I could probably take another hit before I would need it. What happens if I hit you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <sighs> Who's saying they're trapped and where? Sir, are you in this box? Or are you down there? Do you need help from down there, perhaps? Hmm. Sir, if you're down there, I would like to help you. I would. I would like to help you. Oh, God. I, I feel like I'm just, like, one move from accidentally jumping off. Oh, is that you? It's either Laurentius or Lawtrek. Which one are you going to be? Oh, you're not in here. You've broken out or something. Or you're stuck in this cage. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Oh, it's a button. That's why she kicks it. I'll allow it. <coughs> Hold to swap to Barrer Claws? Is that a new weapon? So I have my carved sword, or claws, which are going to be 10 points higher but require 30 stamina? Is that what that's trying to say there? Let's swap. I just want to see what an attack looks like. Hmm. I don't think I have to leave the sword. It looks like I can store it. So, store. Not sure that would be the default. Hey, you there. Or you're the Law Trek Laurentius. Can I get you out? You're still so young. But I see it. I certainly do. That fire in your eyes. Burning with determination. I can tell you've got some fight in you. I'm just a humble wheat trader. I mean no harm. I have done no wrong. Those things, they threw me in this damn cell. I've eaten nothing but dirt for days. Heaven knows what they've got in store for me. Wooden aberrations. Bloody wooden beasts. Out of madness, I tell you. There was an ambush. My mates, they... Oh, heavens above, my mates. We were stashing our wares at the usual trading spot, inside an arcs up north. I know it must be close by, for they haven't dragged me far. My abductors may have returned there. 
uh, up on the cliff overlooking this sanctum, uh, across the broken arc, one of the woodmen should be carrying the key. I beg of you, please, you must find it. Okay, so you get a side quest to free a potentially uh, sketchy guy. That's very Souls-like. Can I just break this down? No. Okay. I mean, look. I'd be remiss not to try. What's in these boxes? Please? Anything fun? I don't know if I like the way these attack. They take a minute, too. Can you swing down, lady? Okay, fine. I'm not gonna fuck with that. We are gonna climb out. And we're gonna see what awaits us uh, up here. I'm not sure where the cliff homeboy was talking about is. Alright, that was an easy enough jump. Some of the animations are a little wonky too, I will say. I think this is just how we came in, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're just backtracking now. Going back out. We have the tasks now. To potentially find our way... To kill a tree man who has the key that can free Sketchy Man. What happened? Oh, it healed me. That's like a free heal on the ground. Alright, there's nothing to be done about this side. At least that I can tell. No safe way down. A lot of trees down there. Or at least one. Which is more than I would prefer to fight at the moment. See what I mean about the awkward animations? Um... So here's a question. Can I like get on that barrel and then go down? Question number two. Is this too big of a distance to go? Alright, is there is lower an option? I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna get on. Why won't you jump? Why don't why don't you jump? Oh, you wouldn't have been able to jump over that. Oh, there's just a fucking ladder. What are you and why are you glowing? Thought we had ourselves a hidden wall, but seems to be some kind of lighting glitch. Sprint button let you slide down ladders? Yes, okay, so you did learn from the mistakes of Dark Souls 1. Alright. God, the range. I got very lucky somehow, though, that it missed me. I don't think I should use this only because of how close you have to get before you can successfully hit an enemy. But man, you do some damage once you start making contact. Also, it seems like... Am I able to, like, parry it with an attack? Because it seems like I'm negating some of his damage, at least by hitting him first. To swap face of bark. Well, what difference does it make? They're, they're identical, so we're gonna just leave it. But I do like that we're. It seems like we're gonna be able to upgrade just off of the pickups. Holy shit! What the fuck are you? A mimic barrel? I could hear it. That's cool though. Similarly to the breathing of a mimic. Oh, that's a cool move. Similar to the the, the wheel bros. From uh, Dark Souls 1 and 3, I guess. Come on. Uh-oh. My mouse has stopped. Oh, probably because I'm locked on, I guess. My ability to look has stopped working. There it goes. When you're locked on, I guess it doesn't let you look around even within, you know, relation to what you're locked on to. But I guess that makes sense. You're kind of telling it, I want to focus on this thing. We have now learned... Oh, a hearty brew. I do want that. And I'm going to drink one. Only because I feel like it's necessary that I top off. Or maybe I'll wait just a little longer. Dude, are you good? Oh my god, I should have drank the brew. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to make it our goal before the end of this to get through that door up there. So that's what we'll do. I'll cut back right into me running in here.
I like that little barrel, man. I guess now that I've seen him, they're like, here's an enemy that you should know about. He's a creepy boy inside of a barrel. Man, that's a long way back. I'm just going to sprint there. Is she holding her stomach? Hold up. Do you stay injured after dying a certain number of times? I wonder what that's about. I don't like that. Also, can tree boys climb? Because I would like to not fight the tree boy on the way back. Ah, we're going to have to fight this tree boy, though. Well, that tree boy that killed me hit hit a lot harder than this guy. Hit swing, dude. Her stamina is questionable. Greaves a bark. Yes. We're increasing our armor, but I wish there was just like an inventory menu that would show you. I'm not sure if I've aggroed him. Also, why is it hurting me to sprint? Like, it's letting me do it infinitely, but she's holding her gut. I'm also curious what happens if I take care of my friend. All right, I'm gonna lift this and then go down. I'm really curious if we'll get the answer as to why we're like limping. Okay, we got back here pretty quick. I'm not gonna fuck with Barrel Boy. Seems unnecessary. <coughs> I'm going to have to fuck with Tree Boy number one though. God damn it, we have to fuck with the Barrel. Uh, excuse me. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I want to try this thing. Oh shit! Learn my lesson from last time. We're gonna drink, and we're gonna fucking finish this boy. Trees have to hate fire, right? If there's one thing I know from fighting trees, it's their distaste for fire. Ooh, are you something else I don't have? Yes, chest plate of bark. Chest plate, chest plate, 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, I didn't know I had one already. Okay. I let the fire die. All right, will this angry tree boy leave me if he doesn't see me? Oh, you look different. You look smarter. You look more sentient. Fuck. All right, he dead. And we got a door. Hopefully it's not a boss fight. I'd really like to have a... This door doesn't fucking open. Cool. <laughs> What's in here, man? Anything good? Maybe I have to beat this boy. There seem to be really inconsistent damage outputs from enemies and myself. Unless there are like enemies who just look really similar but actually have different HPs. Are you not actually dead? Don't understand what's happening in this room with this. Another weird glowing pillar. Well, everything in here should be dead. We can't get out that door or that door. There is some kind of treasure there though, and it seems like a puzzle we should be able to figure out to get to it. However, I feel like you've gotten your taste though for State of Logos, which it's kind of all I wanted to make sure we got here. I was hoping we could get to a boss fight or some kind of other uh, bonfire, but it seems like we're a little, a little bit of a dead end here, and I'm hit a half hour of time. 
The game has some bugs. It has some performance issues. It stutters sometimes when you're trying to, uh, trying, Jesus. I was trying to see if I could jump on that barrel. Uh, when you're just running around. So by no means would I classify this game as being like perfect, free of bugs, anything like that. However, I think that there's an intrigue to me as far as what is possible um, with the exploration and combat. Especially if they are able to start patching out some of those bugs that we saw. Um, I think that... I think that if they're able to do that, like, there's the core of something kind of cool here. And, like, I'm intrigued by the world. I'm intrigued by the the characters. I'm intrigued by the elk. We've leveled up. Again, I wish there was some kind of representation on screen to show me what we, how we've leveled up. Is it experience? Like, am I missing something? Let me just check the options menu again here. There's a pause menu, escape, which is how we got here. But I don't see anything... So there's an eye for inventory. Maybe it'll be there. Magic, which is R. All right, let's see. Maybe it's an inventory. Stats. Okay, so we do have stats. I'm not sure what minus means. I'm not sure why we're hurt right now. There's been nothing to indicate that. I'm sure we could figure it out. It looks like this is the decay of the weapons. How much longer they'll last after being used. Same with the... It's so like armor weapons. That's why you'd want to pick up stuff off the ground. Um, looks like you have more miscellaneous sort of ammo and things like that. Magic, your stats. Again, not sure why these are down. Echoes, Thundering Bard. I assume these are characters you come across. So, again, a lot of cool lore, a lot of cool exploration, a lot of cool things to figure out. Dark Souls wouldn't have explained why something like this is happening either, though. Or, like, the black and white tendencies of Demon Souls. Like, that kind of stuff was hidden. You had to, like, figure it out on your own or from message boards and things like that. I just don't know what the following is going to be there for this game because it has such a hard barrier of entry. I wanted to do this because I've been excited about this game. And despite the controller issues and things like that, which easily could have set me off and had me like postpone until I was able to figure those out or until they got fixed, I really wanted to check it out. So I had the determination to play this game, but I'm not sure that everybody will. And uh, I hope they're able to patch some of this stuff up because I think a lot of my complaints are bugs and performance issues. And I think that if that's something that they can patch out, then you're going to you're gonna have a game worth playing potentially here. Again, like the animations are a little awkward. That's patchable. This is the secret area. Okay. So the box was just so I could come in right here. And that's a cool secret. I mean, like, that feels soulsy. That rewards exploration. That rewards exploration better than, I think, some... I think then some of the things in Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild was really good about being like, I want to go to the top of that mountaintop. I want to get what's at the top of that mountaintop. And like when you got there, there'd be something cool for you, whether it's a Korok seed or a new weapon or, you know, some kind of item like that. This game just rewarded me in a way that I think is a little more similar to Dark Souls. You get a really cool, you know, weapon. Granted, it can break on you, so I guess that's similar to Breath of the Wild in that sense. <laughs> but... The clunkiness and the bugs are the only thing I think holding me back. So, at $19.99, that's one thing this game has going for it. That is not expensive for a game that has this kind of feel to it. Um, but it might be one to just hang on, see as the Steam reviews, you know, now that they categorize not just in a total review, but overall and then, like, latest. See if the latest moves up. When this game comes out, I promise you, you're probably going to see, like, mixed to mostly negative just because of the bugs. If they can fix those before the game comes out, maybe that won't be the case. Maybe it'll be mixed to like somewhat or like somewhat positive or whatever that lowest tier positive is. Probably not though, honestly. Keep an eye on the game. Keep an eye on the price. See if a combination of the price as is plus new good reviews under the recent section or a sale with some decent reviews comes out to check this one out. Um, I don't think I would buy it right away in its current condition until they're able to patch it up and get rid of some of these bugs and some of the awkward like animations and performance issues but i again none of the issues are inherent in the gameplay and the mechanics so they can be patched out keep an eye on those things i hope that helps you kind of understand what to do about this game and, and gives you a little more clarity if you've been interested in this uh state uh decay of logos as well 
Um, but uh, that's where I stand. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know out in the comments if you, once you get around to playing it or if you play it or if you were excited to play it or if you've seen other people that had different feelings. Let me know. I want to hear about those in the comments below. And lastly, if you want to see more, we've got new episodes of stuff every single day, whether it's Let's Play, other reviews, things like that. So I'd like to hear what you guys are thinking. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you again next time.